Well hello there and welcome back you lovely lot. Today we've got a very special YouTube video for you. I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Natalie Muggridge. Now I'm sure most of you already know who she is. In the nail world that girl is awesome and she's one hell of a nail artist. For those of you that watch my channel regularly you will know that I've just started doing online courses in the last few weeks and I'm just learning really and at every opportunity i'm trying to throw a little bit of everything that i've done into my nail videos um this set i decided to do extra long tapered square and the theme for our collaboration is whimsical unicorns so i was like awesome so let's get started so first of all i'm going in on the middle nail and i'm doing a full white acrylic nail now guys this video is 54 minutes long so i have had to cut a hell of a lot of it out to get it down because there's a lot there's a lot of content there is a lot so those that watch my channel regular you've seen me apply acrylic a thousand times you've seen me cap you've seen me file so i haven't left all of that in but i have left majority of the nail art in which is the important bit here so I'm coming to Daydreamer on the pointer finger. I'm using NTS acrylic system here. I usually, as a rule, use CJP, but um, I won a raffle um, on another nail art channel. Oh, it's got to be six or eight months ago. And as part of that, I could pick some acrylic colours from NTS. So I picked some pastels. So I thought to myself, right, okay, I have those pastels, I haven't used them in a while, so what I'll do is I'll get them out and we'll do a set and use that here. I have the Glamourly's Practice Hand um, and I'm just coming in with a full nail of that Daydreamer there and I'm doing a really, really thin coat of that. It's um, going to be a background for a rainbow. So I'm coming in with those pastel colours and the first one is lilac lust i think this one is i'm sure it is it is it's lilac lust so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a rainbow going across the nails it's i was going to say vertical but it's not quite vertical is it it's like going to um trail across from the bottom left up to the top right and then i will come in and do some nail art later so I want it quite thick on the right hand side as we're looking at the screen and then I'm going to bring it down thinner on the left. And I'm not going to do a straight line, I'm going to make it slightly curved as well. The next one I'm going to come in here is Blue Skylight, I think it's called, the blue one. It's Skylight from NTS. I'm trying to think, it is all at the front of the video for you, so... If you are interested it is there and I will list it in the description box below as well now I have no idea what Natalie's doing she has messaged me telling me that she's she's working on it so uh, so I, I actually on the day that she messaged me and said I'm working on it I I was doing the nail art on it I'd done this bit one day and then I came back to it and worked on it the next day so I'm just going to pat that down and then we're coming in with the next colour in a minute. Baby doll, that's the pink. and It's a beautiful baby pink colour. I'm just going to tuck it in around that cuticle and make it nice and flat as I can. And then pull that down. Now, because I've got it thicker on the right hand side, I I do tend to lose the shape a little bit. It's not a problem because I fix it. I fix it with the file. Thank the Lord for the file. But I do I do fix it. But whenever I like to do acrylics, I do like to keep the shape as much as possible. But I did lose it a little bit here because with it being thinner on the left, like it goes into a point, so you haven't got any bulk at all on the on the left hand side. But I did take it thick around that right. 
so like I said I did lose it just a little bit now this is mint twist so I'm going to pop that in there and I'm going to pull it down these are extra long tips these are from eBay they're extra long stiletto tips if anybody's interested um, and they've got a magical C curve. It goes right round. You, you can see, you can see as I take it round on that right, just how far that goes. So, I leave that all to set up. Now, what I'm going to do using those same four or five colours, however many colours it is, I think it's about six actually. I come in with Lilac Lust, Skylight, Mint Twist, Baby Doll. Oh, there's another one. I can't think what it's called. There's a yellow as well. So I was going to do a unicorn horn on this one. And I changed my mind. I thought everybody does unicorn horns. I didn't want to do one. So I didn't know what to do. This was like the very last nail that I did. Because I really honestly, I didn't know what I was going to do. Especially with it being like whimsical uh, unicorn as well. I was trying to think. I was trying to be a bit clever. By thinking outside the box, by trying to be a little bit different, but well, we'll see what you think at the end. Right, okay, this is going to be a glitter nail. I'm using the glitter fairy, all but one. There's one that isn't the glitter fairy. Um, there's five glitters here, exactly the same as the others. There's pink, there's lilac, there's blue, there's green, there's yellow, and I'm going to pop them all down this nail, one after the other fading them slightly into each other. You will notice I have put a clear acrylic down, really, really thin wash of clear acrylic. That's because on these plastic tips with the practice hand, it's just much, much easier to release those glitter beads onto that nail when it has something to stick to. Otherwise, it just slides around like an ice rink. So I am going to pop these on here. Now, I can't remember all the names, guys. I'm really sorry. I know I'm rubbish. But as always, I have listed them below. Because when I do sets like this, I write it down. I write down exactly what I use. So I will edit the video. So do, do, do the editing, do the voiceover. And then when I upload it, I will then get my notes and then I will add it to the description box. So if ever you want anything, always check the description box below. It will be there. I do like to pride myself on that. Now, guys, we're putting on the last of this rainbow. So I will clear cap all these nails, file and buff them into shape, ready for the nail art. But I am going to do that off camera. So, this is going to be my Whimsical Clouds. And I'm going in with Artisan Gel Paints. And my Crystal Nails Barber One brush. So, I'm going to put the shape of the cloud on there. Then with a really old brush that I just don't use anymore. It's in a little pot. With a little bit of acetone, I'm just going to dab it into that gel paint to get the cotton woolly look so what it does it will disperse the gel paint it will put little holes in it it will actually um disperse it and lift some of it away and thin it out in places so that will give us the cloud look so it should have uh, dark patches of white lighter patches of white as well as completely missing you know and you can see the rainbow through it so that's what I'm using to do this and what I'll do is put a few clouds going down the nail using the exact same technique. Some are big, some are small. This is just a small one here coming in with that really old nail art brush, little bit of acetone, dab, dab, dab. I wipe the brush off, go back in with a bit more. Then I come back in with a Barbara brush with the artisan gel paint. I do it all again and I do this, go down the nail making little clouds. I'm just going to let you watch for a moment.
once I'm happy with that, I will put that in the lamp and give that a full cure, which is 60 seconds. And then I'm coming in with the artisan gel paints and I'm going to outline these clouds. I'm going to put some little swirls and some little wavy lines inside to turn this from like a cloud into a whimsical cloud. So, you know, fairy tale like and oh, I just love it. It came out ace. In fact, I did it. <laughs> I went round all the clouds doing exactly the same. And then after I'd done this nail, I went back and added another cloud because I just I liked it so much. I just thought it was really effective, really nice. Again, using my Barbara One brush from Crystal Nails and my Artisan gel paints. Outlining that cloud. And then add a little, little swirl inside and some little wavy lines it just brings it to life it really does just the tiniest tiniest detail just makes it look that little bit more whimsical different which is exactly what we decided to go for so i'll continue with that and do all of the clouds and then I'm going to come in and add a few little stars I add one here then I add one at the bottom so you just you just add them where you think you know it needs it then I'm going to come in and do a couple of dots like I said, just tiny little details that just finish this nail off. Filling in those little gaps. Looks absolutely beautiful. So I'll put that in the lamp, give it a full cure. After that's fully cured, and then I'm going to go onto the middle nail and I'm going to draw the unicorn. And following the outline of that unicorn that I've drawn in pencil, I'm going to go over it with grey artisan gel paint. Now I don't have a grey so I have mixed white and black together and I'm going to go all the way around but I haven't left that all in then I will fully cure that. Then what I'm going to do using gel polish I have all the colours that I've used in the acrylics. So I've got the blue, the lilac, the mint, the lemon and the baby pink and I'm going to do the main for the unicorn. Because it's gel polish it will spread. So every time that I do a little section, I pop it in the lamp and just flash cure it for about five seconds to keep it into place. This will keep it into place and it'll also stop it bleeding into one another. I want it to look like the mane of the unicorn. So I will follow that up over the top of the head and round the back of the head and then bring it over its shoulders and for want of another, another word around its neck to bring it back around the front of this nail so I'm going to come in again each colour individually and I'm going to do it wider on the right and make it thinner and flicking on the left exactly the same as I did with the rainbow so this will bring continuity throughout this set of nails so again I'm going in with each colour flash curing it in between just to finish off this nail all the gel polishes are a mixture of Madame Glam, CJP and Azure. I've just used what I've got. If you wanted to recreate this at home, you could do exactly the same. Just use whatever pastel shades that you have. As long as they're pigmented, it doesn't matter. But remember to cure in between each one to keep the colours separate. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to put it in the lamp and give it a full 60 second cure. Then I'm going to come in and do the eye detail. Now I wanted, I'm just going to put the little fluttery eyelashes on there, give that a flash cure. And then I'm going to come in with blue gel paint and put in the blue colour of the eye. Pop it in the lamp, give that a flash cure, keep it in place. Then I'm going to come in with the grey again and just outline the bottom lid of that eye. 
Now I wanted this unicorn to be delicate. I wanted her to be really delicate and whimsical. I didn't want an in-your-face, you know, cartoon sort of unicorn on there. This I wanted a delicate set. So this is what I was going for. Hence why I didn't use a lot of black, I used the grey rather. So I'm going to flash cure the pupil of the eye. Then I'm going to come in and just do the detail in the eye. Then give this a full cure and that's the beautiful unicorn finished. Then moving on to the final finger which is the ring finger here. I had no idea what to do. That's why I left it to last. When you think of unicorn the first thing everybody wants to do is a unicorn's horn. So I didn't want to do that. So I decided to come in with pigment. Now I used the Glitter Planet pink pigment over a non-wipe top coat and then I gave it another top coat gave it full cure now I'm coming in with some variation on Madame Glamour and as your gel polishes just like we did on the unicorn nail so I decided to do a floral design so I'm coming in with foliage first at the back I'm going to mirror the top to the bottom so whatever I do on the top I will repeat on the bottom now I've had to cut this video right down, seriously right down. You'll be here till Christmas guys, I tell you. So I haven't left it all in. So what I'm going to do is put the foliage on, give it a full cure. Then I'm going to go in and this is the only bit that you will see the top and the bottom done. I'm going to go in with purple and pink and I'm going to do um, some flowers so I go in and do a circle but that, then I make them misshapen because no flower is a perfect circle so I'm going to do purple in the middle then come in with some smaller ones either side in pink and then do another purple one smaller still at the front of those give it a full cure now to make this actually look like little roses I'm going to go in and do a C in the middle give it a flash cure once that comes out the lamp, I'm then going to go around the sea and do little wiggly lines to make it look like a little rose. I'm going to do a lighter shade than what I'm putting it on. So there'll be a lilac on the purple and then a uh, brighter pink on that uh, pink shade that I've used there. Give that full cure. Then to highlight and make these roses pop I'm coming in with artisan gel paint and I'm just going to put a few highlights inside that rose to finish off this design then I'm going to give that full cure in the lamp to finish off this nail now on the nails that have art painted on them in order to make them nice and level and to get that beautiful line of light what I'm going to do is come in with a thick top coat and give it a generous layer on top of those nails that I've done all the hand painting on. If you don't have a thick top coat, you can always use a base coat. Hold the hand upside down for about five to ten seconds before putting it in the lamp, as the gel will self level. Give that a full cure, bring it out, and now we can top coat all of these nails. So I'm going in with CJP Top Gloss Tack Free. And I absolutely love this top coat and all of this. Look at the beautiful sparkle. All these beautiful nails then come to life. Guys, this is the end of my nail design today. I really do hope you've enjoyed this little adventure with me doing my very first hand-drawn, hand-painted nail. Fancy doing it with the great... Uh, Natalie Mugridge, eh? <laughs> I really hope she likes it. I will put a link up above so that you can go and check out what she has done for this collaboration. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching today. If you've enjoyed this video, would you please take a moment and hit that thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. As always, there's a clip right at the end for you to see this design in all, all its Oh, glory and that beautiful line of light look at that guys until next time thanks for watching bye